Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. This is Lathe Skills, a series of quick videos on getting started in machining. This is episode number one, Theory. If you like this content, please subscribe to me on Patreon. I post exclusive video to that feed of uh, all of my projects and uh, we would really appreciate your support. All right, let's dive in. We're gonna start with the most important thing in the shop and that's safety. Rule number one, safety glasses. Don't set foot in the shop without them. Rule number two, no dangly bits. That means short sleeves, short hair, no gloves, no jewelry. Machine tools are actively trying to murder you at all times. Deny them the ability to grab you and pull you in. They'll mangle you so fast you won't know what happened. And rule number three is chuck key discipline. This chuck key should only ever live in two places, in your hand in the chuck or in its home. Its home might be a holder on the machine. In my case, it lives in my apron. What you don't ever do is you leave it in this chuck. This chuck key sitting in the chuck is now a missile, and when you least expect it, it will embed it in the far wall of your shop by passing through your face. Don't want that to happen. So, habit. Develop chuck key discipline. Make it a habit that you put that chuck key away after every single time you use it. You don't ever set it on the bench. You don't put it over here sometimes. It's in your hand or it's in its home. Here's our work envelope. Now the core principle of a lathe, of course, is that it spins the material and the cutting tools remain stationary. And uh, the, the value of that is that it minimizes the uh, amount of motion that's required of the tool relative to the part to give you flexibility in, within the work envelope. Now, uh, what, a, what a machine tool's job is essentially uh, to, to do is to hold the work uh, square relative to the tool and allow you to move that tool square. So the, the, the ways here and the chuck and the cross slide are all square to each other so that when you make cuts in this piece, you know that they are square. And uh, it's a simple concept, but uh, it's, it's the magic that makes, that makes machining possible. Uh, so lathes are what's known as a single point cutting tool, uh, which means that the cutting is actually done by a tiny little point on the end of the cutting tool. And so in order to make cuts of a surface to reduce the diameter of a part or to flatten the end of something, uh, this, this part has to move all the way across because it's only cutting in a tiny little area at a time. And uh, the value of that is that it minimizes tool pressure because there's only a tiny little area that's being cut at a time. Uh, the machine has a lot less work to do and so you can get very precise uh, and, and rapid machining with a relatively small and light machine. So the other core principle of a machine tool is rigidity. Uh, everything is a spring and that's especially true in machining. Uh, when, it, when the tool is acting on our material, you know, imagine this material, material is spinning. Uh, this material wants to drive down the end of this cutting tool. It's trying to push it down and the cutting tool is trying to resist. And the tool post is trying to resist the motion of that cutting tool. And the cross slide is trying to resist the motion of that, of that uh, tool post. And then the ways is trying to resist the twisting of this carriage. All these parts are all springs and they're all resisting that, that motion. And so the more mass and the more precisely made all these parts are, the more rigid the whole system is, and the more precise your cuts will be. And thus, the easier it will be to hit dimensions, uh, the more aggressive cuts you can take, and of course, uh, the finer your surface finishes will be. So uh, a machine tool is very much about mass. And uh, so that's why the larger machine you have, the better, the more cast iron that's in it, the better. And last but not least, we'll take a look at the controls. This is pretty standard for what's typically uh, a standard metal lathe now. It's sort of often technically referred to as an engine lathe uh, or used to be called a screw cutting lathe. A screw cutting lathe basically meaning that there's a lead screw that is synchronized to the drive in the lathe, which means that it can advance the carriage in time with the turning of the part for cutting threads. And then an engine lathe typically means that uh, the uh, carriage can be automatically advanced at power feed. So uh, you've always, you're always going to have your carriage hand wheel here and you're going to have a cross slide hand wheel here. Uh, and then this here is your compound and the compound can be adjusted to different angles for taper cuts or threading operations, things like that. Uh, and then of course the tool post up here. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you may have your power feed here. It's a power feed clutch. This lathe has uh, longitudinal and cross power feed, so uh, it's got a different uh, set of positions here for that. Uh, and then this over here is your half nut, which 
is a rigid engagement of the carriage to the lead screw, which is used for threading operations. And then you can't quite see it in the picture here, but there's the threading dial over here as well, which is also used for thread cutting. Uh, so these are the basic controls you're going to have on every lathe. Larger, more complicated machines will have other bells and whistles, but uh, these are the basics and these are what we're going to use. And then the last thing you're likely to encounter is something along these lines. This is a quick change gearbox. Many machines have some variation on this, but uh, the general idea is that it's a transmission that allows you to change the speed relationship between the drive and the lead screw. So in normal turning operations, this allows you to change the power feed rate. And when you're screw cutting, this is often involved in setting the thread pitch. Uh, and then uh, this here is a feed direction change, which not all lathes have, but this allows you to power feed in both directions, or then there's also a neutral position for disabling the power feed. And of course, here's the speed control. Uh, often uh, older lathes or less expensive lathes will have only uh, what are called change gears for the speed, in which case there's a set of gears behind a cover and you manually swap up the gears out to change the uh, feed of the power of the power feed, which uh, is a lot more tedious, uh, but it certainly can be done. And uh, often uh, older lathes will have a, a cone pulley with a belt system for changing the speeds. This machine is a brushless DC motor with a digital speed controller, so it's got a very handy speed control knob here with a, an RPM display there. That'll do it for lesson number one, the theory of the lathe. So tune in next time and we will talk about using the machine and uh, we'll start looking at maybe making some chips. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe and support us on Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes video content of Blondie Hacks projects.